What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Wheel Play with C. Just happened in the last night of this morning. I'm just getting to it now because um, I took me forever to track down the audio and the, the actual written transcript. But Tyler Sagan and Jamie Ben disrespect and in, insulted the Sedins. It wasn't homophobic. It wasn't anti-gay. It was just, yeah, it was a foolish comment to make, especially for a team that's ahead of you in the standings like Vancouver is with Dallas in the Western Conference. But I just think that in this overblown politically correct society we live in, this bullshit. I mean, really? This is what you make a big deal about? Really? Really? And, you know, Vancouver fans, some of them, not all of them, a lot of Vancouver fans are actually great hockey fans and stuff. They have to be the victims every single time. It was It's a mirror image to why that team didn't win the Stanley Cup in 2011. They have to be the victim. You know, they can never, you know, they can't play anything off. It's, oh my God, we're getting beat up. And it's like, really, this is, this is it? Here's the, the basic transcript of it. Uh, Ho says, in no way am I in, implying you have a Sedin type vibe going about you. And then one of them said, don't they shave at the same time? Dude, it's creepy. In fact, it's a good example to future brothers in the NHL on how not to act. They look weird, and Sagan says they're weird as shit. I, I don't get homophobia out of that. I, or, you know, homophobic comments out of that. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't... This is what happens when we oversensitize everything. This is... It was, an off cover, an off the cover mark, inappropriate short, but to have everyone up in arms and you know burn Stag and Ben at the stake, this, this is, um, you know, kind of weird. Uh, well, not even weird, just ridiculous. That this is front page news. I mean, how you let's just look for outrage these days, is what it is. Oh, let's let's get outraged over this, and uh, you know people need to to um, you know get over themselves. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, you know, obviously not what you want to see from your best two players, but I just think it's more because you're putting a Western Conference opponent on blast, and you know, for, you know, they could take it out on you with, you know, the, the two of them could combine for, uh, you know, five assists and, and three goals against you, you know, something like that. They're they're a good good tandem like that. They're probably they're one of the best, um, you know, duos in the NHL. But both, both duos are actually great for that matter. Um, you know, both Kane and. Um, I was like Evander K. I think Evander K would have been great in that line. I don't know why I was thinking of that. Uh, both the Sedins and Ben and Sagan. For what it's worth, I'm actually putting that piece together right now. Uh, spoiler alert: Kane on a line with them would be amazing. Other for Bot is not playing bad, but um, you know, I just think it's it's ridiculous. And you know, I think it's kind of ironic. You know, one of the people outraged by it is uh, Harrison Mooney, who you know he was he, him creeping on girls on Twitter via DM. Um, you know, I just think it's deep in hypocrisy. He's so quick to put Sagan on blast and, you know, talk shit about Barstool Sports, but then he, you know, he's the one going around creeping on women, um, you know, being an absolute pervert. So, uh, you know, maybe if you're in a blast house, you shouldn't throw stones. But, I mean, I, I don't, I don't care, you know. Um, bottom line, derogatory comment, sure. Reason to be outraged? Absolutely not. You know, I texted one of my, uh, one of my friends is a big hockey fan, happens to be gay. In the transcript, he thought, he was like, it's a stupid comment, I'm not offended by it. Why would I be offended by it? I'm like, oh. everyone says you should be offended by it. And he's like, no, it's a dumb comment. I wouldn't want to, you know, maybe one of the Vancouver stuff guys runs, you know, casting or someone runs better saying if they have the chance, but, um, yeah, I just think it's, it's, it's just much ado about nothing. Slow day at hockey Twitter. So, anyway. That's an episode of the Power Play with CJ on the false outrage about Sagan and Ben's comments about the Sedins. Stay tuned for episodes with the season and beyond. Later, guys.